and good morning. She looks at the clock. Yes, it is still morning. <laughs> it is 10.56 on Wednesday morning. It is Vlogmas day eight. It's day eight. I'm very tired. So basically I feel even more tired and even more run down than I did on Monday. So not, I haven't been the most strategic. <laughs> Sunday was really busy and really, really fun and you know, went shopping and lunch and all of that and it was great. Um, and then Monday I felt really, really tired. So it was just a quiet work from home day on Monday. You all saw that a couple days ago. And then yesterday was another really fun but really busy really hectic day going to the house mom and i went and ran some errands we did a lot of shopping then we were doing baking back at home and you know, she was doing the majority of the work with that but i was still somehow up and doing a lot and then trying to grade in between and so i feel like monday i had recovered a little bit from sunday but not that much and then i went out again on tuesday and that just really knocked me down and so today, I'm even lower energy levels wise. So it's my own fault. I've done this to myself, but I'm today I am definitely feeling like this is a fibromyalgia reaction. Like I'm just, my body is like, no, we are done, stop. But the good thing is today I don't have, I don't have any calls, I don't have any appointments, I don't have, any errands or shopping or anything like that to do. I'm just working at home. And as far as work is concerned, I'm down to the easy stuff. I'm down to the last bit of grading, but it's the reflective essays, which are the most fun and easiest things to grade. So I'm aiming to get all of those done by the end of today. So yeah, it is warming up. I didn't really notice how warm it got yesterday because I was at my parents house and being out of the apartment with all the windows closed, all the blinds closed, all the lights off, it only got up to 68 in my apartment. It had been 63 when I left in the morning because it had really cooled down over the last few days and then it only warmed up to 68 so my air conditioning never turned on yesterday which was amazing I was so surprised but it is 69 in the apartment right now so it is and it's 73 degrees outside it's going up to 81 so it is going to warm up today the air conditioning is going to turn on so I've closed all the windows because it is now warmer outside than it is inside and the air conditioning is on it's just not yet reached the temperature where it, where it will actually start turning on so yay I will have that noise keeping me company today but it's all good it's all fine and it's just for today tomorrow is only going to get up to 73 so I don't think I'll need the air conditioning tomorrow. If I do, it will just be for like two hours in the middle of the afternoon. Um, but I will probably just deal with whatever. It, like if it warms up to 73 in my apartment tomorrow, I will live with that. But I, it, it could get up to like 76, 78 in here if it's getting up to 81 outside today. So I'm not having the AC off today. That would be foolish of me. So yeah, it's not feeling very wintry today. It's definitely feeling more like late spring, mid spring. Late spring would be 90s. So it's feeling more like mid spring out there right now. So yay. Um, but I'm gonna get some coffee and get some breakfast, get cozy on the couch. I'm super behind on some Vlogmas um, from other creators. So I'm just gonna scroll way back in my sub feed and just start catching up on the last few days of different people's vlogs that I have missed um, while I get a lot of grading done. So yeah, it's going to be a cozy day. It's going to be a fun, relaxing day. That's what I'm focusing on. I've got tons of cookies and sweet treats, plenty of coffee if I need it, even though it's decaf. Yeah, we're going to make it fun and cozy and Christmassy, even though it's technically work. <laughs>
the graving continues <laughs> and I'm just coming back into the kitchen to get a bit of a snack. I had breakfast and coffee and all of that. That was a while ago now, so I feel like a little bit of a snack. And I thawed out a piece of pumpkin pie last night and then didn't eat it. I think I'm gonna treat myself to a piece of pumpkin pie. Um, I didn't eat all of the Thanksgiving pumpkin pie because there was a lot, which was on purpose. I had requested that mom make two pieces and, or two pies and she very kindly did. So I have a piece of pumpkin pie, which makes me very excited. I'm gonna take like 15 minutes to just sit and relax. Grading is going well. I am more than halfway through. I, with taking this break, I don't know if I'll get done before I would want to go for a hike, but I'm also not going to go, I'm not going to go for a long hike. I'm not going to go for an early hike because it's <laughs> getting so warm. Yeah, oh gosh, it's, it's going to probably get even warmer. It's currently 81 out there and it's only two o'clock, so it, it's probably going to end up getting up to 82, maybe even 83, which if this was March or if this had been October, 80s would be great. I would be very happy for 80s in March or October. In December, it's not okay. Like I said, I think in, la in yesterday's vlog, if I um, don't edit it out, I wish I could split the difference. I wish I could take 20 degrees off of our temperature and give it to those of you who are living somewhere significantly colder and wish it was warmer. I always say this, this weather is wasted on me because I don't appreciate it. I just, it is so hot during the summer that in the winter, like in December, I, I want it to be cold. Like I'm, if I've got to live with one extreme, I also want to have the other extreme and like 60s isn't even extreme cold. That's just a nice day in a lot of, <laughs> a lot of other parts of the world. So yeah, like I just, I can't get excited about 80s. Now I know I'm weird. I know that I'm the odd person out. Like, this is perfect golfing weather. So there's a lot of people in Arizona who like 80 degrees in December, this is why they moved to Arizona. <laughs> I just love cold weather Christmases. And I, I'm sure it's because I grew up in Germany. Like, seven of the first 10 years of my life were in Germany. Five of those years, ages five to 10, like are, those make up the core of my childhood memories. Like I don't really remember a whole lot from before the age of five. It's very snapshot memories. I remember little bits and pieces, but they feel like photographs in my brain, not like movie reels in my brain. Whereas my memories from like ages five to 10, they're like short video clips of memories are, is what the memories are like in my head. So they're a lot clearer, they're a lot, more vivid and energetic and like there I can really kind of relive those moments in my head and ages five to ten I was living in Germany and like even during the first ten years I was probably 12 actually when we moved somewhere warm for the first time I was born in Nuremberg, Germany. Then we lived in Michigan, um, Central Michigan, because my dad was going to Central Michigan University. So we lived in Mount Pleasant. Let me know if anyone watching this knows Mount Pleasant, Michigan. I'd love to know. <laughs> and then we went back to Germany and were in, out, just outside of Stuttgart. And then we were in Aschaffenburg. And then we moved to Kansas. And so Kansas was also fairly cold. Not as cold as Michigan or Germany had been, but it did get cold and snowy in the winter. We were in the Leavenworth area. 
um, on Fort Leavenworth actually at that point. But then we moved to Fort Irwin, California, which is in the Mojave Desert. It's very similar to Phoenix in some ways. It's hot, super hot, super dry. In the summer, it would get up to like 120 degrees. We were right on the edge of Death Valley. And so very, very, very hot. Then we moved back to Kansas. But yeah, the, the bulk of my child, and like by the second time we lived in Kansas, I was in high school, I was a teenager. But I feel like so much of my core childhood memories are somewhere that got cold in the winter. And so for me, winter is cold. Winter should be cold. Whether it has snow or not, winter should be cold. <laughs> So all of this is a very long and rambly way of saying I'm just annoyed that it is December 6th and my air conditioning is on. I can't wait for tonight when the sun sets and I can turn it off and then hopefully tomorrow I can just leave it off even if it gets a little warm in here during the day it'll cool back down once the sun sets tomorrow. But yeah it's just like this is ridiculous. <sighs> I'm not enjoying it, but other people are, and so I'm happy for them, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to take my pumpkin pie, <laughs> pumpkin pie, back over to the couch and just take a little bit of a break. I'm still watching YouTube, eat the pie while I watch YouTube, and then I will get back to grading and then probably go for a hike around, probably get up and get changed around four and probably just do like a 30 minute hike today. I don't need to do much. There goes my air conditioning. I did not miss that sound. I would have been very happy to not have to listen to that again until February at the earliest, but here we are. Anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining about the weather. I'm gonna go eat my pie, watch some YouTube, and then get back to grading. time to go for a hike. I am mostly done grading. I'm just waiting for two students. I need to send some emails and post some announcements and just let the rest of the students know that the grades are calculated. I managed to get the like all of the grading except for these last few things that I'm waiting for these students. Oh, there's a chipmunk running through the parking lot. I don't see the chipmunks very often. It's a cute little guy just running back and forth but yeah he's fast too anyway I am so distracted and I am so tired but I've had a decent I've had a nice day it's been very cozy I've been watching lots of YouTube so I'm done teaching and working on teaching stuff for the day I'm ready to go for a hike and then have a nice relaxing evening later I've got leftover pizza from mom last night, so I'm really looking forward to dinner later. I still need to edit a vlog, but yeah, it is now 5, 5.43. No, it'd be dark if it was 5.43. It is 4.43. Um, the sun is setting, but it just still feels really bright out <laughs> for being golden hour. Um, like, the sun is setting in 40 minutes. I'm going to go for a really short hike. I'm not going to go for long. I don't think I'm going to do more, more than a, a mile. I'm going to hike out for half a mile and turn around and hike half a mile back. So I'm not going to hike for long. But yeah, it still feels really, really bright considering the sun is setting in less than an hour. But maybe that's because the last few hikes, sunset hikes I've been on have been partly or mostly cloudy. That's got to be it. It just, the last few hikes have felt much darker at this time of night. Someone was commenting, and now for the life of me, I can't remember who it was, um, but someone was commenting on a previous vlog that they couldn't believe that I was going for a hike at 4.20, because where they live, it's pitch black by at like four o'clock. Um, you know, we don't do daylight savings time. We don't change our clock. So the days do gradually get shorter, 
you know, by a minute here and there every few days. And I think the earliest it will set on winter solstice is like 5.15 maybe, 5.14, somewhere like that. And then it'll gradually start getting lighter for longer again. And so like by the middle of January, the sun will be setting at 5.30 instead of 5.20. As I start hiking, because I think in October when I first started hiking, the sun was setting at like six something. So like I had to get out here by around like five if I wanted to do a sunset hike and have enough time for like an hour long hike. And then I gradually just get out here earlier and earlier and earlier and earlier until winter solstice. And then I can gradually start pushing the times back. If I'm doing like a golden hour sunset hike, and I just need to get out here an hour before sunset, then those times gradually get later and later and later as we get from like winter solstice through sometime in March when I will stop hiking. It's one of the perks I think of not doing daylight savings. Like we do have shorter days in the winter. So like it, the sun is setting way earlier now than it did back in the summer. Um, so like it's one of the things that helps me know it's winter now, the sun is setting at 520 as opposed to 720. So that's one of the things that helps me know summer versus winter is what time the sun is setting, what time it's rising in the morning. But it's not this stark difference that I feel like so many other places have where one day the sun is setting at five o'clock and then the next day because daylight savings time has ended the sun sets at four o'clock it's not that like shock to the system of wow it's like suddenly way dark I remember being in London I think it was in 2017 my trip in 2017 I was in London the day British summertime ended and that was my first time experiencing any sort of daylight savings time shift since we moved to Arizona in 1997 and it was it was it was trippy I won't lie it was like how do people do I don't know how y'all do it I don't know I don't get it I don't know how you do it in places where you regularly jump forward or fall back in the spring I sure springing forward is not so bad to have an extra hour of daylight but like I don't know how you do it in the winter when all of a sudden it's darker an hour earlier than it was before. Like just the day before. That's wild. I don't know why you still put up with it. I'm sure there are reasons, but I don't understand it. Anyway, I need to get out for this hike um, before the sun does set. done I'm home that was lovely the sunset was gorgeous and then I got out of there I came home so now I need to take a shower get dinner and edit a vlog get all the fairy lights and battery operated candles and all of that stuff turned on it was a gorgeous hike 
It was a beautiful sunset. I didn't go for long. I was just, just over a mile. Yeah, it was beautiful. The, the mountains, the color of the sky was beautiful. It was all just, oh, it was gorgeous. I truly do live for these hikes. Like, knowing that hiking season is coming again is literally like the only thing that gets me through how brutal the summers are. I think my seasonal depression would be way worse. And I think that's one of the reasons, not to bring this back to the weather, but I do think that's one of the reasons why today having the air conditioning back on, like I feel like my seasonal depression had finally lifted. Like it felt like I was in a completely different headspace over these last couple of weeks that the weather has just been so nice and not above like 72, 73, and that was really just one day over the last few weeks. It's It's been beautiful and I can just feel like my sleep quality is different, my mental state during the day is different, my ability to cope with things. Like I'm tired and I'm burned out and all of that is still there, but I don't have the added layer of the seasonal depression. And so that was just feeling so much better and I just, I can feel my body tensing up today with having the air conditioning on and just even though logically, intellectually, I know it's not that hot and it's just gonna be yesterday and today and tomorrow will be better and then Friday will be even better than tomorrow is. It's going back into the 60s. Logically, I know it's just today that I had to get through, but that non-logical, non-rational part of my brain is just like, oh, this is not good. This is what we were just done with. Like we've been through months and months and months of this and it was supposed to be over. And it just goes into panic mode. So I will be very glad when it cools down just a tiny, oh, it's already down to 71 degrees out there. It's coming down. That's making me happy. So I'll get the windows open, have a nice evening, um, nice cozy evening. For now, I'm gonna go take a shower and get cleaned up, heat up some yummy leftover pizza from last night, and then tackle the vlog editing. lighting's just a little bit better than the blue tint to my skin. Okay, it is getting quite late. It's nearly 10.30. I've just been doing my Duolingo, my Norwegian lesson for the night. It is finally cooling down in here. Um, it was 69 the last time I got up. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's one of the reasons why I'm staying up a little late, that it will cool down to like 68 by the time I actually have to close up the windows a bit to go to bed. So we'll see. I've just been doing some knitting. I'm working on a headband, so it'll be like that. I thought I would, I've been making hats. Like that's the main thing I've made so far. I've made, since learning to knit, I've knitted a few different hats. I've knit one pair of socks. I've, part, I've started knitting a second pair of socks and I've knit knitted one scarf but I've not done any headbands or anything else like that. And it goes pretty quick, because obviously it's a lot less. 
so it does go faster than a hat. But also, when I'm hiking in the winter, when it's colder than it was today, I don't, I don't, it's rarely cold enough to need a full hat. And so I thought a headband might be nice because it would keep my forehead warm and my ears warm, but then I could have my hair up in a top knot and like it wouldn't be all weird under a hat. So thought I'd give these a try. The problem is I'm probably, this is more than halfway done. It's probably about two thirds of the way done. This is all that's left of the yarn. I was using just a random ball of yarn I had left over after making something else, hoping it would be enough. So basically, I think there's more here than it looks like. So basically, I'm going to just keep knitting it as long as I can until I'm, I run out. Until either it's long enough or I run out, and then we'll see if I can make it work. I need to get out my sock project though and start working on that again. I'm wearing the pair of socks that I made before and I love them, but I bought two skeins of yarn, um, one in a pink variation and one in a purple variation. And so the intention was always to make a second pair of socks and I need to finish them so that I will feel like I can actually wear the pink ones because I feel like I can't wear them because then I'll have to wash them and then while I'm washing them I won't be able to wear them. So like I'm saving them. So I've been making myself start to wear them again because I love them and the yarn it's just they are so soft and they're like part merino wool and part cashmere or something like that they're like a cashmere blend these are definitely the most expensive pair of socks i own when you factor in the cost of the yarn which was 33 dollars and the cost the time and labor cost of making them they are easily the most expensive pair of socks i own so like i should be wearing them <laughs> and using them but yeah it's just been a super cozy night i'm gonna watch one maybe two more YouTube videos, probably just one. It'd be better if I just do one, because I do want to read. I am currently reading by Jane Porter, is the author, Once Upon a Christmas, Love at Langley Park, book one. I'm loving it. I am loving it. It's so cute. Like, I know exactly where it's going. It's super predictable, but I love it. It's just, ugh. Oh. Unless something goes really off the rails <laughs> in the second half of this book. Because I think I'm at about the halfway point. 41%. So unless something goes completely off the rails in the last 60%. Which I suppose it could. But I think this is going to be a hit. So, so far the first 41% has completely won me over. So I want to do some more reading in that. I've got like over, just over two hours left in it. So I'm not going to finish it tonight, but I do want to make a good dent in it and get closer to finishing it tonight so I can hopefully finish it tomorrow night because I've already downloaded and borrowed from the library my next book after this one. It came available on my holds list, so I've checked it out already. So yeah, just going to have a cozy, cozy evening. The rest of the evening from here on out, my TV is ready to shut itself off. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All of that great stuff. I would really appreciate it. Say hi in the comments. Our question, speaking of knitting, I asked you earlier what your favorite outdoor activity was of the holiday season, but what is your favorite indoor activity? What is something that you like to do inside. I think one of my favorite things, it's always like reading by the tree. That's probably my top favorite. But like what I've been doing tonight, like watching YouTube or a good movie, doing some knitting. I think knitting is a favorite activity because I can do that while listening to an audiobook or while watching a movie or something like that. And it's something that I can 
pick up and do just for a few minutes, like just knit a few rows, or I can do it throughout a whole film and like make a lot of progress. And then knitting is something that also, it's very meditative because you can kind of just zone out a little bit, but then it also feels very productive because you actually create something that you can either then use or give as a gift. So I'm also trying to knit some gifts this year. But yeah, knitting I'd say is one of my favorite indoor activities. So let me know what some of your favorite indoor activities are. So yeah, I will see you all tomorrow in the next day of Vlogmas. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye.